Hello, and welcome to another InVision tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to add stacked switches to System Manager database using the Managed Network Equipment object. In my example, I have a group of Nexus switches with the Nexus 5000 as the base switch and several Nexus 2000 extenders connected to it. So the first step is to select the rack where I want to create my base switch and go to Add Managed Network Equipment Object. Here I have to enter the IP address of the base switch, select the SNMP version, and type the read community string. Also, let me show you an option down here. Update network equipment name. It's checked or active. This option will control the name system manager uses for the base switch and the satellites. The next step is to select the switch we just created and go to SNMP Synchronize. When I click on Yes, a discovery synchronization task is scheduled, and we can see it in the SNMP status window. We can close this window and the task will continue in the background. Now the whole process took about two minutes, and when it completes, the base switch is renamed with the host name retrieved from the device. The same name is used for the satellites. They all have the base switch name followed by a number. Here in the base switch, we see the ports or some of the ports have special characters in the names. Let me show you what this is. And we're going to use extender 104 as the example. Down here, we have the serial number for this extender. So if we go back to the base switch and find the port with the last characters in the serial number of extender 104, that is going to be the port connected to that extender right here. The next step is to position each switch in the right rack. So we're going to move using drag and drop each of the stacked switches created to the corresponding racks. You can move the extenders or the stacked switches to a different room, a different floor, and even a different building. But you cannot move the base switch. Now, once the group of switches has been added, they all communicate through the base unit. If you delete the base switch, the entire stack with all its members will be deleted from the database. Let's now do the same, but we will uncheck the option to rename the managed network equipment and see what's different. So I'm going to add the managed network equipment again. This time I'm going to type a name, ABC, and enter the same IP address we used before, SNMP version and read community string. Then we come here and we uncheck the option to update the name. And next, we select the switch and synchronize. When the process completes, we're going to see that the base switch keeps the name we entered manually. Also, the stacked switches created will use the same manually entered switch name followed by a number. Now, the host name of the switch is being retrieved 
and you can see it here. But because the option to rename the switch object is off, this host name is not used to rename the switch in the database. Also here we see that for Nexus, the switch ports in the base unit are still renamed with the serial number of the extenders. So that still happens. In summary, adding stacks of switches to System Manager database is fairly easy. The first step is to create the base switch, and this one has to be created in the correct rack because it cannot be moved. The next step is to go to SNMP menu and synchronize. When the synchronization completes, all stacked units as well as all components in the main switch will be created automatically. Everything is going to be in the same original rack. Next, you need to move the stacked units to their corresponding racks, and you do this through drag and drop. Finally, you may want to slide them using the rack elevation view to their correct rack unit position.